Sussex's huge debt will never pay over Palace final decision to protect huge asset of soft power. Royal spending has reached a record high in the UK, but the firm has been defended as a vital source of soft power in addition to the significant annual revenue the monarchy generates for the nation. The Sovereign Grant Report has revealed a record annual payout for the expenses of the royal family for the 2021-22 financial year. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been forced to pay £213,000 to charity as they settle the final debts of their foundation. The couple's MWX Foundation, formerly Sussex Royal, which is in liquidation has paid its outstanding debt to an unnamed non-profit, papers revealed. The report said a claim of £213,000 had been received from a creditor relating to a grant due to a not-for-profit enterprise. A total of £134,500 was paid off last year as the couple declared all of its debts would be paid in full within 12 months. However, the remaining £78,500 was paid later, according to the report. The delay in payment caused an extra charge of £27,447 as the time costs exceeded the estimate. The document also said that £22,000 will go to Harbottle and Lewis for legal representation. Harry and Meghan founded the outfit back in 2019 and called it Sussex Royal, the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But the pair had to change the foundation's name to MWX Foundation when they stepped back from court life. And nearly a year ago they instructed a voluntary liquidator to wind up the charity, essentially cutting another tie with Britain. A report by Smith and Williamson filed in September 2021 revealed the concern had £289,106 held in an account with Coots and Company when they were called in. It said the body had a wholly owned subsidiary, Harry and Meghan's trading arm MXH Trading Limited, which is also being wound up voluntarily by the couple. The document said that £26,000 will go to Harbottle and Lewis for legal representation and £10,000 to liquidators. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Sussex is on the lookout for a new TV home for her cartoon series Burl, which was axed by Netflix earlier this month. Sources told The Sun that Meghan, 40, and her team at production company Archul are reviewing the project to see where else it could find a home. They will be pitching the series concept to other TV networks and streamers, including Apple and Amazon. Royal spending reached an all-time high of £102.4 million, in part due to the refurbishment of Buckingham Palace. Despite the 17% increase on the 2020-21 annual royal expenditure, the cost of the royal family has been defended as the monarchy remains an essential asset to the soft power of Britain. The huge taxpayer contribution to the royal family has been contextualised alongside the significant contribution the monarchy generates for the UK economy. Speaking on GB News, host Michelle Dubry said, spending on the royal family reached a whopping £102.4 million last year, a report has revealed. That is up 17% from last year and it is the first time that the spending has passed £100 million in a year. A lot of the media are furious about this saying, of course, we're in a cost of living crisis so why are we spending all this money? One of the reasons it was so high is because it does include the cost for the renovation of Buckingham Palace. Taxpayers contribute just over £86 million towards the royal family every single year, that's £1.29 per person, per year, are they worth it? Charlotte Pickles director of the reform think tank dedicated to the improvement of public service, suggested the royal expenditure should be assessed in the context of the profit generated by the royal family. Ms Pickles said, people are focusing on the cost but not actually thinking about how much money the royal family bring into the exchequer. There was one assessment done in the five years running up to 2019, so just before the pandemic, that said that actually the overall value of the royal family in those five years was about £2.8 billion to the exchequer. £2.8 billion.